and here we go hello there thanks for joining me right i've just spent four days at the king's green caravan park and campsite now it caters to caravans motorhomes and tents now i was there in the tent now the campsite itself is located within dumfries and galloway it's right at the southern uh, edge of the sea uh, on a good day you can actually see the isle of man and island now it's a very large pebbled beach so there's no sand here so leave your bucket and spade at home now if you are bringing a tent be advised if you can bring rock pegs because it's a very rocky campsite the plus side to this is that it's incredibly well drained one of the days i was there it had rained constantly from 3 a.m in the morning for 19 hours it was something like 10 o'clock that evening before the actual rain stopped but by noon the following day when the sun came out, there wasn't a drop of water anywhere on the campsite. It had completely drained away. Between the campsite and the actual pebbled beach is about 10 to 20 feet of long grass before the actual campsite itself starts. And the campsite is a long rectangular shape. Now, the it was a very quiet campsite despite the fact that it was actually close to uh, the road it was just a six minute walk outside of port william itself which is great because there was a convenient spa there that you can pick up um a few odds and ends uh fresh milk that sort of thing there was also an excellent uh restaurant called the clansman which i had a, a couple of meals at in the evening now it's not open every single day off peak like when i went there it was at the end of june and they were closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. So, um, but there are other places. There are other places about. There's actually a brand new uh, cafe called The View, which is above the lifeguard building, uh, which is again just uh, a six to ten minute walk away outside the campsite. Now, it's a community run campsite, uh, so that means there's not a warding on site 24/7. Um, the wardens are about twice a day, and it was like 10 to 11 in the morning and then five to seven in the evening. The wardens were absolutely excellent. They couldn't have been any nicer. The shower blocks, uh, toilet blocks was immaculately clean. There was like two toilets, two showers. There was also a laundry room. Um, in, the, in the shower block itself, it was electric showers, which is like the kind of electric showers you would have in your own home. So that meant uh, that you could control the temperature, which is fantastic because everyone has a different uh, opinion about how hot or cold they want their shower to be. The laundry room, excellent. And it was an actual free washing machine. So that was fantastic. The uh, tumble dryer was like one pound for five minutes. So you were probably going to spend four or five pounds in order to, you know, dry off your towels or or whatever uh, there was actually even a very small information room that gave uh, information about um, the local amenities like your restaurants bus times um, any pubs that was close by so that was actually very useful right one word of caution now it did say in the information room that in the long grass at very hot times of the year there can be adders actually basking themselves on rocks now when i was there i never saw one and the information basically explained that these snakes are more afraid of you than you are of them and if they hear uh, a human approach they'll run a mile um, the only danger really is to any dogs you might bring because they can't hear a dog approach because of the soft foots uh, footfalls so if you do have a dog keep it on the leash they have actually mown a wide pass through the long grass so you can get across to the pebble beach uh, without going going into the long grass itself and I actually I was I was a bit taken back by this but I thought I, I never saw one while I was there and I actually spoke to a gentleman who had been going to the same caravan campsite for the past eight years every single year and he said he himself has never seen one uh, he had heard that maybe a couple of dogs a year do get bitten and they have to be taken down to the vet but no fatalities so and just so you know i was my tent was 
10 feet away from this long long grass and I had no problems whatsoever but it is something to keep in mind if you don't like that idea anyway I hope this short video was of help to you if it was please give it a like please subscribe and I hope to see you next time take care of yourself and goodbye for now